Hey everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about push-pull communication model. So uh, this is the third type of communication model which is used in Internet of Things. So before I have made two videos uh, in which I have explained the first two types of communication model that is the published subscriber type of communication model and exclusive pair. So if you have not seen those videos, please guys check the playlist. Okay, so coming to our today's topic. So uh, it's a, a simple type of communication model which is uh, just uh, as similar as the request response but here uh, some slight changes are there. So we'll see what is the block diagram for this one and we'll take up an example. Alright, so here is the block diagram for push-pull communication model. So as you can see, uh, the first thing here is same that is we will be having a publisher here. So the publisher is one which is generating the data. So the work of publisher is uh, it sends the messages to queues here. So uh, it is same as uh, the publisher consumer and in between the broker will be sitting in case of publish subscriber model. But in case of this instead of broker we are having the queue here. So that is basically acting as a uh, connecting element between the publisher and consumer so it is also acting as a buffer in this case as it is storing the data for some time okay so that uh, if there is some mismatch between the data at which uh, data rates between publisher and consumer so let us take an example of uh, a scenario where uh, the publisher will be generating the data at a rate of 10 kbps and the consumer is only able to handle the data or receive the data at 8 kbps then uh, the difference of 2 kbps between these 10 and 8 is managed by the queues as it will be storing the data for some time so like this uh, the queues are also helping the publisher and subscriber to maintain the data rates or uh, if there is change in the data rate also they will be uh, uh, they will uh, take care such that there is no error in the communication alright so how they will be working is uh, first the publisher will be creating the j data then uh, let us say uh, we have a temperature sensor that is LM35 and uh, it is generating the temperature here so it will be sent to the queue so the temperature will be sent to the queue and once it is present in the queue then it will be uh, coming to the next and as the number of samples in this queue increases alright so that's like a, a FIFO type of communication uh, so where the first element which is in uh, will be the first element which will be uh, coming out of the queue so a FIFO type of communication I can say so consumer will be fetching the data from this queue so the publisher will be pull, uh, pushing the data to the queue and consumer will be pulling the data from the queue so like this whatever data is sent to the queue it will be uh, moving in this direction that is from publisher to consumer via queues so that's why it is called as push-pull communication model where uh, the pushing is done with the help of publisher and pulling is done with the help of consumer. Alright, so the same thing happens for the second consumer also. So we can have a n number of consumers here. So I have listed some of points for this one. So the first point says that push-pull communication type of uh, model in which the data producers push the data to the queues and the consumers pull the data from the queues. So producers do not need to be aware of the consumers. So uh, the, as the uh, queue is acting as a intermediate broker here, so there is no need for the publishers to be aware of the brokers uh, or the uh, sorry uh, not brokers the consumers or the subscribers so the ultimately one who is using that data so it is not necessary that publishers should know the consumer and queues also act as a buffer so as i said uh, they will be acting as a buffer which helps in situations when there is a mismatch between the rate at which the data produces the push the data and the rate at which the consumers pull the data so if there is mismatch also then it will be managed by the queues as it is acting as a buffer.